Hey everybody, Phil here at Woods Tree Farm and I just got a couple hours here before sundown. It's a beautiful spring day here in Central Virginia. Look around, everything is getting green. I'll move out of the way. Look at that. Looking nice out here. Springtime, we've gotten plenty of rain. Now we're getting a little bit of sunshine and things are looking nice. So like I said, today I just got a couple hours out here before sundown. And first thing I'm going to do here is just knock over a couple trees because how else to get over a stressful day at work at the day job than uh, knock over some trees on the tractor. So here we go. I'm going to knock over these trees here first. And my purpose is to widen that gate area right over there. You can hardly even tell. There's a gate. We're going to widen that so that we can easily get the hay wagon through there. We don't really need that gate. We've already taken out fencing all down this way. So the gate really serves no purpose. So this first couple trees and the gate post are going to come on out of there. And then I'll have plenty of room to get the hay wagon through there. So that's job one.
right, well, I don't want to spend any more time uh, trying to dig this stump out. So I'm just going to get my chainsaw. I'm going to cut it at ground level, mound some dirt up around it, spread some extra wood chips in this area, and we'll call it done. I'll move on. All right, well that'll work for now and I'll come back at a later date and cover this whole area up in wood chips. I didn't bring my trailer with me today. I had to run it home to pick up some other stuff. So next time I have my little trailer down here, I'll fill it up with chips, bring it down here, dump a bunch down. It's just not efficient for me to do that with a tractor. It would take probably four or five buckets full and the wood chip pile is a few minutes back and forth with each chip, with each load on the tractor. So we're heading up there now. We're going to spread some mulch up around the parking area. Well, you can see we got a bunch of wood chips we've got a couple of different uh, tree companies dropping us wood chips that we're going to use all around the property wherever we need it and uh, just since I was here a couple days ago there's two more truckloads that have been dropped off so I got plenty to spread so I got this big parking area up here some of it we covered in gravel and the rest of it what we're not going to use that much except for seasonal events I'm just going to cover in these wood chips so a lot of this area I've scraped off a lot of the topsoil already just so it doesn't get too soft when it gets wet. And uh, then I'm just going to spread around wood chips. You can see a lot of this area is already covered in wood chips, but when we were spreading before, uh, we were just dropping buckets full and we were trying to spread it with the bucket on the tractor and it wasn't spreading real even. So I got to go back through some of this and try to level it up just by hand with a rake. I think it's going to be the easiest. It's not going to be easy. It's a lot of square footage to rake. But that's what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to drop one bucket load at a time, spread it with a rake, and just go back and forth one bucket load at a time. So I'll set up the camera here, and we'll get to work.
All right, well that seems to be working out pretty well. Every four or five buckets full, I'll just go and spread it. It's uh, probably a little harder than it looks, but it's gonna get it nice and smooth. So that's what I'm gonna keep doing. All right, well that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. And uh, you can see the sun's going down, but made some progress. I've got about maybe, I don't know, 80% of this area covered in uh, wood chips now. And I left my truck over there so you can see how we're gonna end up parking people when we have events out here. Sorry, I'm a little shaky. Did a lot of raking and I'm tired. So anyway, we'll just have cars lined up one right after another along over there, and that row can continue down that way to the right, along the tree line. And then a little 180 over here, we can park cars head in right here, facing these implements that are lined up out here. So I think all in all, we've got parking for about 40 cars, which should be enough, and then we can probably do overflow out into this area, and I don't know if we'll spread more uh, wood chips out that way, but we might. And uh, I think if we expand over to this side, that'll probably get us up over 60 cars. So we should have plenty of room out here to do what we need to do. So that's it. Thanks for watching. As always, if you like the videos we're doing out here, give it a thumbs up. If you got comments about what we're working on, leave those below. And of course, subscribe to the channel. I'd appreciate that. And of course, if you do, you'll get notified of our future videos and see all the other work that we're doing out here at the farm. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.